We're gonna remove the throttle body today and uh, get to the bottom side, try to get this fucking bullshit idle air control block off plate put in. Do you know what I mean? Block off plate in my pocket. Let's get this shit off first. If anyone needs an idle air control valve, uh, I got you. Man, I really hope it doesn't start raining. I'm gonna be really fucking mad. And we probably could have been having uh, some weird idle air issues because mine didn't. Mine wasn't even hooked up, but it was still plugged in and trying to function and control the idle. I guarantee you that's why we're having issues. There it is. Now, with the idle air control valve, um, you're gonna want to uh, see. We got our idle air control valve. Just threw the, took the gasket off. What we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to retain that gasket for sure. And then we got our block off plate right here. that one there. Lost my crush washer in my pocket. Where the fuck is it? Doesn't really matter. It's universal. Whichever way you want to put it. I'm going to be putting it uh, this way. So if somebody were to, I don't know how the fuck they would look under it. <laughs> They're like, oh, car steps. That's right, car slips. Now time to clean our throttle body, butterfly. really not that dirty. A little bit, not much. Opening your mouth removes all doubt. So be quiet. Technology is the key to it all. We're Man, it's wind today. Probably picked the worst day to do this, but don't give a shit. So, uh, essentially, you just try and do, uh, put everything back now. That's about it. About all I got. The camera dies, y'all. Basically, we're just putting stuff back. Just cleaning and putting stuff back. Note to self, do not wear your watch while fucking doing stuff, because this will happen. See a little scuff right there? Not happy.
Court Low. No funnel. Japan, I ordered an M&M Honda racing, uh, or super tuning, whatever they call themselves, uh, blue oil cap that is just banging. They claim it doesn't work for a K-series, but I have a project. I think I'm going to try to cut it or whatever the reason is why it doesn't fit. Uh, we're going to try to counteract that because in the fucking picture, this is the odd part, in the picture, the default picture for the product, it's on a K-series. So like clearly they're fucking lying, or they got their their facts mixed up. Cause that thing looks gloss, dude. It looks so fucking clean. It's it's the oil cap to get. Any day now, dude. Could you fucking start up? I'm tired of waiting. This is why I hate Windows. Working on updates. Working on updates. Seventy-two percent complete. Fucking bullshit. I also ordered from Carceps, the same people we just used their product to block off the idle air control valve. Um, they have an exhaust gas recirculation block off plate, so I'm going to do that next. And then, uh, bought some new lights for the, the cabin. Got two map lights, dome light, uh, glove box light, and uh, uh, license plate lights, all LED, provided by thus precision LED really good prices over there for the whole kit I spent like 50 bucks to get all those lights if you just buy the base pack it's like 28 bucks but I thought get all the lights you know spruce it up a little bit you know now I love y'all zip ties but I'm just saying these motherfuckers are already look at that big scuff and look at the zip ties like right Right here. Look at all the fiber that comes out. I mean, literally, it's not even sealed or anything, so it's just starting to look like dog shit already. I don't know. That's just me, guys. That is just me. Maybe I'm a picky person. Hey, we're ready. Good God, it's a forever. One, turn it on. Accessory position, right? It's open. Go to parameters. idols at low as shit. But I'll tell you one thing. Son of a bitch ain't, uh, It's idling a little low, 
you know, on startup. It's where it's idling right now. There you go. So you see, flat or on cold. We should get up to 750. But see how I'm cutting my wheel? It's not making it jump up or down at all. That's really great. And we're already up to uh, this five. Nine and eight, nine and eight, seven, eight, six, nine. We're at like 520 right now. Motor hasn't warmed up though. Yeah, when you cut your AC on, it doesn't make it jump around. It's not cutting out though, that's the good news. Usually when it dips that low, it'll cut off. Sounds healthy. I don't know. Hey, yeah, look at that Jesus here. So you guys heard it here first. Man of expertise says, hey, look it, sounds all right to me. He says that ticking noise is probably the valves, uh, the lifters, as he said. He's old school. The valves probably need adjusting, so, um, I mean, we can get the K24 going. Can we take the head off, put it on the K24 bottom, um, adjust the valves then, honestly. Because the rule of thumb with valves is you'd rather hear them than smell them, if that makes sense. The good news is when you unplug your idle air control valve and uh, delete it, you don't have an engine light, so that's pretty great. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. But yeah, guys, summing it up, we got it done. We got it fucking dialed in. What up, guys? I'm not sure how much longer we will have until the camera battery dies out, but let's get a little test drive in, see how she drives. Sure, where she go? It's sitting way too low. I mean, it says it's supposed to be sitting at fucking 750. It's sitting at like straight 550. Damn, Gina. Man, honestly, I cannot wait to get this new clutch and flywheel in. I think once we get the new clutch and flywheel in, uh, 
gonna be a fucking game changer. This car's gonna go nuts.